good morning. I trust you're having a lovely first year of the, I mean, sorry, first week of the year so far. Uh, today I'm going to make a quick gram just to make um, uh, my uh, porridge. I'm making yam porridge. And to start with, I have cut the yam and peeled it. And I'm going to cut it into, as you can see, I have cut and peeled the yam. I peeled the yam and um, I'm now cutting it into smaller pieces. Just to remind you again, I'm making yam porridge. Just peeling the rest of the yam. Welcome back. Um, I've now cut and um, washed thoroughly the uh, yam. I'm now going to place it in a medium sized saucepan. I've poured in enough water to cover the yam. So, and I'm, not going, I'm now going to put it on this cooker to boil for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to um, blend the hot scotch, but hot scotch, but bonnet pepper I've got two and I've got a bob of onion here half of which I have chopped for you separately and half, half of the onions I'm going to blend with the two hot scotch bonnet pepper in addition to my onions and hot bonnet pepper I mean hot scotch bonnet pepper I'm going to add these um, heads of uh, crayfish dried crayfish I, I don't usually, I, when my, whenever I use it to cook, I usually remove the head and because I don't want it to waste, so I just, I'm going to blend it with my um, onions and pepper for this porridge just to give it a home taste. Here's the rest of the, of the ingredients. My yam has been burning for about 10 minutes now. I've got um, a cleaned and deboned dried fish. I've got a cup of palm oil. I've got um, no chicken cubes for seasoning and salt to taste. Now I'm going to add my deboned and cleaned dried fish. We add one teaspoon of salt. Stir and allow to simmer for about three minutes. I'll be adding my onions, chopped onions, and then my blended hot scotch bonnet pepper and the rest of the onions inside again allow that to boil for for the two to three minutes i'll now be adding my seasoning i'm adding um two because i add very little salt so i'm adding six cubes of uh, six small cubes of not stir without having to get to the bottom of the pot so it doesn't burn. At this stage now, I'll be adding my palm oil. And I will then leave to simmer for about five minutes. What a lovely aroma this has already. I'm now going to turn it around and try to smash, mash some of the yam to turn it into a proper paste. This is the finished uh, meal, I mean the finished pot of meal or dish. See, um, it tastes perfect and the texture is perfect as well, it tastes delicious. I'll show you a picture of it after I dish it out. Thank you for thank you for watching. Please leave your feedback and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.